Welcome to the 2024 Division II NCAA Swimming and Diving at National Championships. It's day one for our commentary, day two of the meet weekend, because we did have a couple of relays that they decided to swim last evening just to get the meet started and stretch it out, give everybody a chance to have the extra day rest if they were in the 800 freestyle relay. Tonight on the docket, we've got the 1,000 meter on both the men's and women's side. We'll also have the 200 IM 50 freestyle of the one meter diving finals and the 200 medley relay. I'm Brendan Gulick, it is great to be with you on NCAA.com this weekend as we get ready to crown a national champion by the end of the weekend. I suppose it's technically still smack dab in the middle of the week, right? It's Wednesday night, but by the time we wrap up, it will be Saturday evening here in Northeast Ohio. The main storylines coming in after the Nova Southeastern Sharks last year won a national championship on the ladies' side for the first time in program history at Division II. Can they get back on top of things? Or on the men's side, might Indy, who also climbed the mountaintop a year ago after Queens and Drury had dominated the state of affairs in Division II swimming for the last several years. Can Uindy get back there? The Greyhound men are terrific. The Shark ladies also outstanding, but a whole bunch of other teams that are very much in contention this weekend. Let's meet our swimmers in the championship timed final of the women's 1,000 yard freestyle. Let's meet your swimmers in lane. In lane one, your Great Lakes Valley Conference champion from University of Missouri, St. Louis, Justice Beard. In lane two, making her first championship final from UND, Andrea Gomez Espinoza. In lane three, a fourth place finisher in 2023 from Wayne State, Allison Vasilaskos. In lane four, your current NCAA Division II record holder from Nova Southeastern, Emily Trishman. In lane five, your runner up from the Sun State Conference from Nova Southeastern, Haley Williams. In lane six, your Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference champion from Simon Fraser, Tori McLenzen. In lane seven, your runner up from the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference from Colorado Mesa, Olivia Hansen. In lane eight, a seventh place finisher from the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference from Nova Southeastern, Estelle Bauer, Madam Referee. Championship finalists in the women's 1,000 yard freestyle. We have a whole bunch of conference champions, a couple of All-Americans returning, and of course, last year's national champion in the pool. Off we go, Justice Beard in lane one. She is the Great Lakes Valley Conference champion this year from UMSL after a seed time of 10.01.38 gets her into this fifth and final timed final. By the way, before I go any further, I should tell you that the time to beat belongs to Jordan Fox, fifth-year senior from Wayne State, who last year was the national runner-up, but she did not get into the final heat this year, and so she basically had to sit on her lead all day and wonder if it's going to be good enough. Earlier today, she swam 10 minutes, one second flat. So 10.01 is the time to beat. Beard is in lane one. In lane two from Indianapolis, Andrea Gomez Espinoza, whose seed time of 9.58.43. She set back at a meet at the University of Toledo, actually, on January 13th. Middle of the pool is where we see our fastest swimmers, Allison Vaxalekos, a junior from Wayne State. Fourth place a year ago, she won the GLIAC championship with a PR time of 9.52.55 this year. In fact, Wayne State was terrific. They had all four of the top four times at the GLIAC meet. 
in lane four, which, by the way, is in first place here. You can see there as the camera pans to the right. Lane one is on the bottom of your screen, lane eight on the top. So your pace setter right now in lane four is not only the defending national champion, but the all-time Division II championship meet record holder, Emily Treishman from Nova Southeastern with a 943-25. Of course, won the Sunshine State Conference Championship again this year. Last year when she won the national title, did it with a 943-25 to set that all-time mark. And the reality is there are not going to be many swimmers in the pool this weekend that have a chance to be more accomplished than Emily. What she did last year was frankly crazy. Uh, <laughs> She won five national championships a year ago. If you didn't catch any of that meet in Indianapolis, she won the 500, the 1,000, the 1,650, and she swam on the 800 free relay and 200 medley relay gold medal winning teams. Five national championships. She also finished third individually in the 200 freestyle. Was good enough to earn her Division II NCAA Swimmer of the Year. This young lady is on the top of the game without a sliver of a doubt, and she looks really, really good so far. Just at touch number 13, this is touch 14. Patricheman, whose last split was 28-16. So she is trending nicely. Second place at the moment is in lane five, Haley Williams, Emily's teammate, a sophomore from Nova Southeastern, who was the runner-up at conference this year. Uh, falling in that race to Emily by about five seconds time and Haley swam a PR in that meet 950-74 expect her to compete well here at Nationals too Tori McClensick a junior from Simon Fraser, is in lane six Tori is uh, the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference runner up in the mile this year she lost to Colorado Mesa sophomore Olivia Hansen who is swimming above her in lane seven. And lane eight, also from the Sharks. Third place of the conference meet, Estelle Bauer. And to give you an idea how much separation there was at the top of that uh, race, Treachman one, Williams two, Bauer three. Bauer finishes third at the conference meet, and she lost the race by 16 seconds. She swam 10.01.81, which is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. That's a great time. But my goodness, Emily Treishman just boat raced the field in that one. We are getting close here to the halfway mark of the women's 1,000 meter, a uh, bigger part, 1,000 yard freestyle. And again, if you just joined us, we will have the 200 IM and the 50 freestyle coming up here as the night progresses. In addition to men's one meter diving and the 200 yard medley relay at the end of the evening. We have three sections of time finals in the relays. For each of the other individual events tonight, we'll also have consolation finals along the way. Our coverage this evening at 5.30 local time. If everything stays on schedule, just to give you an idea, the men's 200 medley relay should wrap up something in the ballpark of about 7.30 local time, and then we'll have the uh, awards presentations coming up after that. So keep your eye on all of that. Gives us a little bit of time here with a longer race at the beginning to try and set the stage for you. At least tell you a little bit about some of the national rankings here. I mentioned Colorado Mesa, the Mavericks. Feel like they've got an excellent opportunity this weekend to do something special and to go out and win a national championship. Their program has been building for quite a while, and there's a lot of people at Colorado Mesa that think this could be the group to get it done. Mesa, Drury, Nova Southeastern, UND, West Florida. Those are the top five teams with Tampa, Grand Valley State, Westchester Golden Rams, Wingate Bulldogs, and Wayne State rounding out the top ten on the ladies' side. On the men's side, UND is the number one team in the country coming into this meet with Drury ranked second, McKendry in third, and it's Colorado Mesa fourth and Grand Valley State fifth. Tampa, Northern Michigan, Wingate, Lewis, and Henderson State round out the top ten. Cannot wait to watch Henderson State with their two unbelievable sprint swimmers in Lamar Taylor and in Jack Armstrong. 
We'll see them a little bit later tonight. Taylor, the defending champion in the 50 free, and he had a bonkers year last year. It would be uh, it would be an upset for sure if he doesn't win the 50 free tonight. It's also worth pointing out that in each of our individual swims tonight, all six of them, only in one event do we not have a defending champion back in the championship final, and that would be in the women's 50-yard freestyle, where last year's champion graduated after setting the all-time record. Joanna Buys swam the 50 free in 22:10 for New Indy. And now that she's moved on, it's time for someone else to take the top of the podium. But finishers two, three, and four from a year ago are all back, and none of them were the top seed in prelims this morning. So that should be a fun race coming up here in just a little bit, expecting the women's 50 to be right around 625 local time or so. First place still Emily Trishman by quite a ways. Trishman making her way back down. It's the break wall, touch number 31. Let's see, it's Williams in second, McClensick in third, Gomez Espinosa fourth, Bauer, Hansen, Beard, and Vasilakos in that order, all up and down the pool. Nova Southeastern as a program has some absolutely incredible young men and young women but i don't know that there's any that are quite as accomplished as that young lady right there the junior from lake worth florida is one of the all-time special athletes in nova southeastern swimming history and coach ben hewitt knows he's got somebody here that is uh, the kind of young lady you really want to build a program around and trishman has just been outstanding program's first women's swimming national championship last year and in total the Sharks pulled in 10 national championships between the individual and relay wins. Coach Hewitt's got an incredible thing going on right now down in Greater Fort Lauderdale. Treachman at 8.40.01 on her last touch heading back toward the break wall. Continuing to split nicely. That was touch 37. Bell lap for Emily Treachman, your national leader. Down and back, she was at 29.81. 909.82 for Treachman. Right now, not quite swimming at the record pace she set a year ago, but. Gosh, not terribly far off it. See if maybe she's got something big late. 9.43.25 is Treachman's time to beat. And actually, she has turned it on here late. It's going to be pretty close. Emily Treachman, without a sliver of a doubt, the national champion. And she does it in record time. How about that? 9.38.98. We start the national meet with a new national record. Haley Williams in second, just barely out-touching Gomez Espinosa from UIndy. So a great start for Nova Southeastern. They go one, two, five as Estelle Bauer comes roaring in in fifth place. It's Gomez Espinosa in third, fourth place to Simon Frazier's Tori McClensick. Bauer, Hansen, Beard, Vasilakos. Round out the field. Emily Treishman flexing on everybody with that national championship. Incredible. She's got lots of titles to defend here this week and is off to an incredible start.
Trishman and company out of the pool. Congratulations to them as we get ready for the men's championship finalists in the 1,000-yard freestyle. And here they come. By the way, Jordan Fox, who swam that 10.01 earlier, I don't believe was quite fast enough. Oh, uh, you know what? She was. Jordan Fox was fast enough to earn all American honors. All right, let's lay out here for the public address announcer to meet our swimmers. Riders, lane three, a fourth place finisher a year ago from Grand Valley, Eric Heber. Lane four, your 2023 national champion from Indy, Cedric Fusini. Lane five, a fifth place finisher a year ago from Nova Southeastern, Luca Alessandrini. In lane six, your Great Lakes Intercollegiate Conference eighth place finisher from Wayne State, Muhammad Khalil Banajima. Lane seven, your runner-up a year ago from Oklahoma Christian, Victor Rosado. And in lane eight, your Great Lakes Valley Conference runner-up from McKindry, Christian Davidson. Matter referee. All right, the eight championship athletes. Up on the blocks they go. Into the pool with potentially morning, a record Belong maybe at stake. We'll have to wait and see how it shakes West out. Let's start just in the middle of the pool where our defending 13. national champion from the University of Indianapolis, Cedric Busing, is in lane four. Young man from Germany, not only the national champion last year, but he finished in second place in 2022. His PR is 855.88. We'll keep an eye on that because it's only 1.7 seconds off the Division II national and championship meet records. Both set by Fabio Dalu at McKendry in 2021 at 854.10. We'll see if not only if Busing can go back to back, but if he can find a way to break the all-time D2 record. In lane one, Jacob Hamlin, a freshman from Tampa, who finished sixth in this race at the Sunshine State Conference, but his seat time of 907.79 was set back in November in a meet at South Carolina when he swam quite well. Lane two is one of his conference mates, the senior from Nova Southeastern, Keith Peristadirius, young man who was at Florida Southern last year, was the Sunshine State League runner-up. About two and a half seconds behind the champion in lane five, his teammate, the Italian national, Luca Alessandrini, who PR'd at 902.87 to win the Sunshine State Conference Championship this year. Certainly don't want to lose sight of Grand Valley State senior Eric Hyber, who's in lane three. He won the GLIAC Championship for the fourth consecutive year in this event. Last year, your national champion in the 1650. He's not messing around when it comes to distance swimming. Lane six. This is a fun little, uh, fun little guy to watch here. Wayne State freshman, Mohammed Khalil Ben Ajmia. He was eighth place at GLIACs, but I got a feeling he was tapering for something different. He was the champion in the 1650 and in the 500. And he had previously put up a really nice time of 904.95. So don't be fooled by his conference finish in the uh, in the GLIAX this year. Mohamed Khalil Ben Ajmia, pretty darn good freshman year at Wayne State. In fact, he's one of three freshmen in this championship uh, you know, uh, fifth and final heat. Because in lane eight, Christian Davidson, young man from McKendry, who was the Great Lakes Valley Conference runner-up to Busing this year. 
Also qualified for this fifth and final section. Busing, by the way, won that race by 11 seconds. And in lane seven from Oklahoma Christian, last year's runner-up and an All-American two years ago. A couple of first-team All-American nods, in fact, for Victor Rosado. Rosado set his seed time in this event, 9.05.38, to get him into Nationals. He set that all the way back in November. He swam 15 seconds slower than that mark at the Rocky Mountain Championship, but he still won the conference title. So he's coming in with some good thoughts there. As Luca Alessandrini leads Busing and Benjamin. Excuse me, Ben Ajmia. Those three guys at the front of the pool at the moment. Cedric Busing, a 10-time All-American and an eight-time first-team All-American. In addition to winning this race last year, Cedric was the national runner-up in the 500, the 1650, and the 400 IM. He is as talented as anybody you're going to find swimming in Division II right now. By the way, he is also the UND record holder <laughs> in the 500, the 1,000, the 1,650, the 200 back, the 200 IM, the 400 IM, and the 800 freestyle relay. Oh, that's all? <laughs> He's a two-time GLVC Swimmer of the Year and an eight-time league champion to boot. But right now, Boosing had to pick it up a little bit. He is in first place, although it took him... An extra six-tenths of a second faster that last lap to pull in front of Luca Alessandrini. He's got a ton of international experience. Luca has won 17 Italian youth championships. And that time it was lane six, Mohamed Khalil Ben Ajmia. Split 27-15. Cedric and Luca were about a half a second slower there. So we actually got a pretty good race going on in the middle of the pool at the moment. The guys just hit touch 23. Maybe touch 25 coming up next. Ben Ajmia from Wayne State. Then Busing, then Allison Drini at the moment. Fourth place is Hamlin. Fifth to Rosado. Sixth for Hyber. Paris Teridis with seventh place right now. And in lane eight, McKendry freshman Christian Davidson is in eighth. The time to beat on the men's side belongs to Paul Dempsey. He finished 10th a year ago as a sophomore from Westchester. This morning, swam 907.13. Miguel Marcos, by the way, was 11th. I, I guess I shouldn't say it quite that way. He's got the second, uh, second time to beat at 9.10.06, but disappointing a bit for Marcos in that he's not guaranteed to be a first-team All-American this year. After he was eighth last year and third the year prior. Let's see if Miguel's time holds up. Good race back and forth right now. Lane six with the lead, Mohamed Khalil Ben Ajmia. Lead is about a body length over five and half a length over Busing in lane four. Is it possible we could see an early upset in this? 1,000 freestyle. <laughs> Khalil Ben Ajmia is a freshman from Tunisia. This year was the GLIAC not just freshman of the year, but the GLIAC swimmer of the year in general. First team all league honors in the 500 and in the 1650. Also swam in the finals of the 400 free relay and 200 free relay. And set a GLIAC overall record in the 500 and a GLIAC meet record in the 1650. He had a good championship. And the freshman comes in in good form. Can he keep up the pace that he's been swimming at as you see some separation here now? Cedric Busing is not fading in his rearview mirror, although we have seen Allison Drini fall back 
Just a little bit in lane five. Starting to feel like this is maybe just a bit more a two-man race. Cedric is closing a little bit. He is less than a body length. Down and back two more times in the men's 1,000 freestyle. The difference right now is a full one second. Busick recognizing that he needs to make up some ground. Starting to quicken the pace a little bit. Khalil Benajmia. With 50 to go, has lost maybe half of the lead he had at the last turn. It's officially a difference of about 0.7. Here comes Busing. Can Ben Ajmia hold on? He is certainly losing steam here. They have flipped a little ahead of Busing. Cedric pushing his way to the end. Oh my gosh, for a 1,000 meter, it doesn't get better than this. Who's going to win a photo finish? Wow! Cedric Busing wins the national title by .07. He split 24.50 on the last 50. That is unbelievable from Busing. And the defending champ gets it done. Final results there include Hamlin from Tampa, a third place finish. What a remarkable effort from Cedric Busing, who just absolutely refused to lose a race that he basically never led. I think technically he had an extremely small lead at a couple touches. That was unreal. U Indy back on top of the podium. Is Bentley, lane five from West Florida, Shanna Dillman, lane six from Tampa, Sydney Meester. Lane 7 from Drury, Loiza Machado. Lane 8 from Tampa, Sierra Gillen, Madam Referee. Welcome to the consolation final for the women's 200-yard IM. Where the all-time record is 155-63. Set by Patri Castro Ortega back in 2016. The lady at the time that swam for Queens, this is... One of the older records in Division II right now. Had some incredibly fast times in recent years. And many of the records have been set over the last three or four national championship meets. Our defending champ is in the field in our championship final. Here we go. The ladies are up on the blocks. By the way, Nova Southeastern right now through three events leads the national meet. Lane one, Sophia Baines from Colorado Mesa. Mackenzie Hemingway in two from Westchester. Maria Fe Munoz of Drury in lane three. From Finley in lane four, it's Emily Mears Bentley. West Florida sophomore Shannon Dillman, excuse me, Shanna Dillman in lane five. Sydney Meister in six from Tampa. Drury senior Luisa Machado is in seven. Sierra Gillen of Tampa, a junior in eight. Coming up in this championship final. In fact, we've got the top two finishers from a year ago. Lane eight at the moment. Gillen from Tampa looking solid. She was the first to touch after the first leg of this. The middle of the pool is actually fairly narrow. Only lane seven and Machado is fading back just a smidge. Perhaps she can make up a little ground coming up here next. At the moment now, it's Meister ahead of Gillen. Tampa going 1-2 through the first half of the race. Time for the breaststroke, bottom of the pool. Look at Sophia Baines surging forward. 
Colorado Mesa's Sophia Baines, the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference runner-up this year. Her PR is 202.55. It's a little slower than that this morning, 203.15. She's in first place. And at the moment, looks like she's going to stay that way going into the freestyle. It's Baines, then Mears Bentley, then Dillman. Hemingway in fourth as we go to the freestyle. Quite frankly, anybody in lanes one through five looks capable of winning this. Really good race. And it's certainly getting tight. Colorado Mesa fans are on their feet trying to will Baines to a title. Baines is close. Lane four, it looks like Mears Bentley, and she will touch first. 201-74 for Emily Mears Bentley. Finley Oilers, a win in the consolation final. Baines finishes second for valuable team points for the Mavericks. Championship final is just around the corner here. U Indy's Selena Schmidt dropped seven tenths of a second to win the second circle seated heat. Swam this morning in two minutes, point three zero. That is a PR for her by seven tenths of a second. Last year, when she finished 11th in this national championships, she was at 202.77. So Selena has worked incredibly hard this year and shaved off. Two seconds from her time a year ago. Jury's teammates, Claire Conover and Melly Wyke, both had good mornings as well. There were four times that were sub 201 as we meet our finalists. Here we go from Nova Southeastern, Melly In lane two, your Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference champion. From Colorado Mesa, Benedict Nagy. In lane three, an eight case finisher a year ago from Drury, Malai Vic. In lane four, making her first championship finals appearance from Indy, Selena Schmidt. In lane five, a fourth place finisher a year ago from Drury, Claire Conover. In lane six, your defending national champion from Nova Southeastern, Amelia Runningdahl. In lane seven, your Sunshine State Conference champion from Tampa, Madison Barnes. And lane eight, your 2023 runner-up from Drury, Aurora Duncan. Matter this is going to be an awesome race with Amelia Ronningdahl, the Swedish national in lane six, champion in the Sunshine State Conference this year. Last year, she swam 157.78 to win the national title, beating out Aurora Duncan from Drury. Duncan in lane eight. She took sixth at Great Lakes Valley Conference meet this year, but wasn't even close to her PR, which she had last year at Nationals, 159.42. Got a good swimmer in lane one, May Lowy from the Sunshine State Conference, runner-up this year. The Armac champs in lane two, Benedict Nagy, and she is swimming quite well. Trying to keep up with Melly Wyke from Drury in lane three. Won the Great Lakes Valley Conference this year. Melly leads the way through the butterfly, 25-48, her split. Madison Barnes from Tampa in lane seven has never been to the championship final. The last two years, the Canadian has finished second last and last in the consolation final. So this is already a great showing for Barnes, who PR'd by eight tenths of a second back in November. Let's see if she can swim well. Lane two, Benedict Nagy looking solid through the backstroke, and we hit the halfway point with a close race. Ronning Dahl in second, Nagy in first, halfway home with Duncan in third, Barnes in fourth, and it's Wyke, Lowy, Schmidt, and Conover. How rare is that? Lanes four and five are in seventh and eighth place at the halfway mark. They probably can freestyle well. Lane two, Benedict Nagy swimming quite well, and the Mavericks are anxiously looking on to see if she can get it done. 
Nagy had the top seed coming in nationally, but it was an altitude adjusted time of 159.43. Nobody else was faster than that all year long. Nagy looking really good. She's in first place with Ronning Dahl literally right there. Amelia Ronning Dahl has closed the gap. Selena Schmidt was terrific in the breaststroke. Way faster than the rest of the field. All the way into third at 33.75. And into the freestyle. Here come down the stretch. Good race in lane two from Nagy. Benedict Nagy, the fifth year senior from Colorado Mesa is your national champion. Schmidt in second. Last year's champ, Ronning Dahl, finishes with a bronze. Freestyle faster than Nagy's came in lane one from May Lowy, who wound up in fifth. Nagy, who was realistically racing Schmidt and Ronningdahl by that point, absolutely smoked both in the freestyle. And Colorado Mesa has won a national championship in the 200 IM. your consolation finalists in the men's 200 yard IM lane one a sophomore from Westchester Kolos Nagy lane two from Indianapolis freshman Silas Boosing lane three JT Amrine a junior from Oklahoma Christian who did not have a great swim this morning he was the runner up in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference this year but was unable to get into the championship final for the second straight year he will try to win the B final, which he did in 2022. Ivan Adamchuk, freshman from Drury, the Great Lakes Valley champ. Top one in this heat. Adamchuk, 145-36 in the Great Lakes Valley Conference Championship. And a bit disappointing for him because he was, quite frankly, terrific in this event earlier in the year with the second best overall time in the country and the only one better than him Ben Sampson who will try to defend his title Sampson's time was altitude adjusted so I've been a little disappointed to be swimming in lane four here but he'll try to score for Drury anyways swimming next to William Slowey from Rollins Sunshine State champ in this event Clayton Kennard Wyatt Dickman and Conley Savage lanes six seven and eight at the top of the pool Lane four looks excellent at the moment with Adam Chuck. Ivan swam that 144.90 to get him into nationals at the SMU Invitational earlier this year. He did win the conference championship, but obviously didn't swim great this morning. His 200 IM all-time best is that 144.90. And right now he is full body length in front of the rest of the field in the breaststroke. Adam Chuck looks great in lane four. Lanes one, two, and three are all tight. And five, six, and seven are bunched together. Lane eight, Savage is in last place. Here we go, a little push here from Amrine in lane three from Oklahoma Christian. Busing trying to make a charge too, but at the moment looks like it's just lane three and four at the front. Adam Chuck has led this race literally from start to finish and nobody's going to catch him. Ivan Adamchuk, this is a really good time. 145-41. Ivan Adamchuk from Drury wins the B final. He will be cheering hard for all three of his teammates in the A final. Drury had a chance to have a really special championship final. They could have had half the field if Adam Chuck was just a little faster this morning. Lost by nine one hundredths to Parker Nolman, who we'll see here in just a moment.
All right, let's meet our championship finalists. In the men's 200-yard IM. Defending champion Ben Sampson is the heavy favorite from Colorado Mesa. Sampson, the top seed this season with a PR 142.04. Won the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference title by two full seconds. And that 142.04 came back much earlier in the season. Who can swim him down? Marcus Mack from Simon Frazier. PR this morning, 146.46. He's in lane one. Santi Corridor, last year's bronze medalist from Tampa, is in lane two. Senior was fourth at the conference meet. His PR is 145.48. Lane three, Joao Nogueira, one of two Brazilian swimmers from Drury who are on either side of Sampson. Davi Murao from Brazil is in lane five, and those two guys are very capable. Murao has been training like crazy for this event. He did not swim very well in this event at conference, but has been training the last few weeks. Mirau is 145-12 this morning. That is a huge PR for him by literally two full seconds. Drury also has a swimmer in lane six. It's Alejandro Villarejo. He was fourth at the conference meet this year and also PR'd this morning by a full second and a half. So the Panthers have been really good in their training of late. Missouri S&T sophomore Connor Bischel in lane seven. He's a Great Lakes Valley Conference runner-up this year. And in lane eight, I mentioned him a bit ago, from Edgewood, Kentucky, Tampa Junior, Parker Nolman. He was 146.70 this morning, which is a PR for him by almost a full second from when he qualified back in November. Mack, Corridor, Noguera, Sampson, Mirau, Biarejo, Bischel, and Nolman. The all-time Division II record is 1 minute 41.61 seconds from Mariusz Kusz from Queens back in 2018. Mesa fans anxiously looking on in lane form as Ben Sampson is off to a good start. The butterfly usually is fairly tight at this stage. Good job from Sampson. Frankly, Murau looks excellent. How about Marcus Mack in lane one also swimming well? It's Sampson in the lead and he is such a good backstroker this is where we could definitely see some separation here from ben the defending national champion getting some heat from lane eight where parker nolman is swimming well for the tampa spartans but it is samson in first place then nolman corridor and mac top four then noguera Villarejo, Mural, and bischel Samson more than halfway home to a national title. He looks great in lane four. Emily Treachman in the 1,000 free defended her title. Cedric Busing in the men's 1,000 free defended his title. We did have an upset in the women's 200 IM. Ben Sampson on the way home in the freestyle. He leads this race by a full two seconds over Noguera in lane three. Marcus Mack in lane one, in third place. Sampson. Ben Sampson. A runaway victory. Back-to-back -back national championships for Sampson and the Mavericks. Second place to Noguera from Drury. Santi Corridor finishes in third for the second year in a row with Simon Frazier's Marcus Mack in fourth. <laughs> Championship winning time of 141.92. It wasn't too far off the all-time record. That was a great swim, but not quite enough to put his name at the top of the record book. Outstanding swim. Colorado Mesa is off to a heck of a start, aren't they? They have both the men and women's 200-yard individual medley national champions.
All right, we will turn things over here briefly to our public address system as they prepare to recognize the podium finishers in the 1,000 freestyle. Next event in the pool will be the 50-yard consolation on the women's side. So stick around. We have live coverage continuing all week long as we work toward crowning a national champion on NCAA.com. Danielle Stewart in the 11th place from University of Missouri, St. Louis. Justice Beard in 10th place from West Florida, Riley McVeigh. And in 9th place from Indy, Bren Hilder, trust a daughter. <laughs> Presenting tonight's award in our women's 1,000 yard freestyle is head coach of Nova Southeastern, Ben Hewitt. <laughs> Let's meet our top eight finishers in our women's eight 1,000 yard freestyle. In eighth place from Azusa Pacific with a time of 10.03.76, Montana White. In seventh place with a time of 10 minutes, one second, point one one from Colorado Mesa, Olivia Hansen. In sixth place, with a time of 10.01.00 from Wayne State, Jordan Fox. In fifth place with a time of 9.58.97 from Nova Southeastern, Estelle Bauer. In fourth place with a time of 9.52.06 from Simon Fraser, Tori McGlenzick. In third place with a time of 9.51.24 from Indy, Andrea Gomez Espinosa. And your 2024 national runner-up, in the women's 1,000 yard freestyle with a time of 9.50.07 from Nova Southeastern, Haley Williams. And your 2024 national champion with a new NCAA Division II record with a time of 9.38.98 from Nova Southeastern, Emily Trishman. What a race for Emily Treachman. That was quite a treat to watch her go out and defend her national championship in the 1,000 free, and it certainly won't be the only time we see her on the podium somewhere this weekend and with her track record. She might be on the top of the podium multiple times, especially after what she did last year with five national championships. That's a great race in particular for Nova Southeastern because it put them in first place by 41 points. You add in what happened in the 200 IM. Nova's lead on the ladies' side is 121 to 78 over Drury. Mesa in third with 73 points. Then you Indy in fourth with 67. Time for the men's trophy presentation in the thousand free, where we will see Cedric Busing, whose unbelievable close got him back to the top of the podium. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the deck your top eight finishers in our men's 1,000 yard freestyle. Presenting the award this evening is the head coach of Indy, Brent Noble. In eighth place with a time of 908.16 from Nova Southeastern, Keith Peristeritis. In seventh place with a time of 907.23 from Grand Valley, Eric Heber. In sixth place with a time of 907.13 from Westchester, Paul Dempsey. In fifth place with a time of 905.40 from Oklahoma Christian, Victor Rosado. In fourth place with a time of nine minutes, point four six from Nova Southeastern, Luca Alessandrini. 
in third place with a time of 8.58.32 from Tampa, Jacob Hamlin. Your 2024 national runner-up in the men's 1,000-yard freestyle with a time of 8.54.58 from Wayne State, Muhammad Khalil Ben Ajima. And your 2024 NCAA Division II men's national champion in the 1,000-yard freestyle with a championship time of 8.54.51 from Indy, Cedric Boosie. Cedric Boosing. What a swim. 2450, that last split. That was just remarkable. Holding off Khalil Ben Ajmia. Winning by seven one hundredths. Freshman from Wayne State. Almost got it done. It was very close. But a admirable finish in his first year of collegiate swimming for sure. All right, we only have a couple more individual swim events the rest of the night here, and they are the 50-yard freestyle. We'll have the men's one-meter diving finals and men's and women's 200-yard medley relay still to come. We are getting ready for the women's 50-yard freestyle. Consolation finalists include West Florida freshman Sydney Lewis, Simon Frazier sophomore Alyssa Whitmore, 50-year senior from Colorado Mesa Lauren White, Truman State Junior Emily Traub, CSU East Bay freshman Tahani Kong, Josephine Bushel, a senior from Drury, sophomore from Colorado Mesa and the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference runner-up this year, Agata Naskrit, and Troy Grubbs, sophomore from Finley in lane eight. Naskrit missed her PR by only two one-hundredths this morning at 23.30. Lewis had a great swim at the conference meet in the New South. See if she can repeat a performance like that. Off and rolling. Well, frankly, lane five is just a little bit further ahead. Kong looks excellent so far. A lot of fans up and out of their chairs trying to figure out who's going to win this race. It is very close, all the way across. Virtually impossible. Maybe lane six with Bushel. She does hit first. Bushel a little slower on the last stretch, but 12.04 was enough, 23.07 overall. Kong finishes in second. It was Traub in third with a tie for fourth. Josephine Bushel from Drury, seventh at the Great Lakes Valley Conference meet. But she wins the B final at the national championships. Again, this is the only race here this whole week, or I should say this whole week, this whole night, where our defending champion is not in the pool. Last year, Joanna Buys from Indianapolis, 22-10, the all-time D2 mark. She has since graduated. But our defending runner-up is in lane six, Bryn Greenwald. I have to check and see. Oh, my gosh, I just checked up at the board there and realized there is a four-way tie for fourth. <laughs> that is crazy. I knew it was a close race, but down to the hundredth, a four-way tie? Man, I hope we have drama like that in the championship final. Here they come. Ellie Williams from Colorado Mesa, who had a great swim this morning, just off her PR. Ashlyn Moore, sophomore from Drury, 12th a year ago. She was third at the conference meet this year. Lane three, the Sunshine State champion, Laura DeConnick, bronze medalist last year. Top prelim time this morning belongs to Kirabo Namutebi, the freshman from UIndy. Great Lakes Valley champ. She is a Ugandan national. She went out this morning in 10.8. Nobody was even close to that. Smashed her PR with 22.36. Last year's fourth place finisher from Hungary and from Henderson State, Kira Pazvai. At the top time in the country coming in, New South champion in a PR 22-33. Keep your eye on her. Mentioned Bryn Greenwalt, lane six from Augustana, last year's runner-up. 
Her PR was set back in November two years ago at 22.50. She was four tenths slower than that this morning. She won the Northern Sun this year. Isabel Sering, senior from Tampa, won a really good national championship meet two years ago, and she just missed that PR this morning by 1 100th. And Daniela Sulco, a senior from Delta State who was an All American last year, comes into this meet as the New South runner up. Williams, Moore, DeConnick, Namutebi, Pazvai, Greenwald, Sering, and Sulco. Who is the fastest woman in Division II swimming? Keep your eye on lane four, given what Namutebi did this morning. She is the first one to break the top of the water. Does that help or hurt her? Gosh, this is close. All the way across, Namutebi looks maybe just a little bit ahead of everybody else. She comes flying out of the water, swimming right at the top, getting a little bit of push on either side from Pazvai and Dekonic, but it isn't going to matter. Wow! 22.08! It is an all-time Division II record from the freshman, Kirabu Namutebi. Greenwald, the runner-up. Henderson states, Kira Pazvai in third. The Greyhounds with an incredible swim. Unbelievable. Congratulations to you, Indy. That was remarkable. The results are official. Namutebi went out in 10-8 this morning. She went out in 10-73 tonight. Holy smokes. That is crazy fast. Good for her. All right. Consolation final on the men's side in the 50 freestyle. Lane one is fifth-year senior at UND, Joao Silva. Lane two is fifth-year senior from Finley. That's Tim Stollings. Leo Knowles, a sophomore from Northern Michigan, the GLIAC champ in lane three. Brandon Wilson, junior from Florida Southern, is in lane four. Just missed the A final. Camilo Marugo Montano from Finley, the great Midwest and Mountain East champion. He's in lane five. Mario Perez, McKendry sophomore, the GLVC champion this year in lane six. Caleb Brandon from Tampa is in lane seven. And Drury freshman Yuri Cabral is in lane eight. Stollings last year won the B final. There are no other first team All-Americans in this heat. Cannot wait to watch these next two swims should both be really fun. I don't know that we're going to see a national record broken tonight, but I wouldn't bet against Lamar Taylor, I'll tell you that. What that kid's doing right now is it's almost laughable. It's so good at the Division II level. Taylor, the favorite coming in as he swam half a second faster than his teammate Jack Armstrong later tonight. In the meantime, the guys have actually backed off the blocks here. Not entirely sure why we are held up. Well, this is tough. We need the adrenaline to go out and swim a race like that. And these guys have to take a deep breath for a moment here. It is not normal to see national records falling left and right. <laughs> and yet tonight... We've seen it already twice. Emily Treishman broke her own record in the 1,000-yard freestyle. And then just in that last race, the women's 50-yard free, freshman Kirabo Namutebi. Young lady from Uganda, Great Lakes Valley champ, and now comes out in the national championship. She got 
out of the break wall faster than anybody else. It's an interesting technique to come up and, and stop your underwater kicks as quickly as she does. It was effective watching her just set the pace and glide to victory. It was a lot of fun. She went 10.73 on the way down and 11.35 on the way back. All right. They have made that heat official. So to the men's 50-yard freestyle we go. Again, Silva, Stolings, Knowles, Wilson, Marugo Montano, Perez, Brandon, and Cabral. On the blocks they go. Five of these guys this morning swam this race within two one hundredths of each other. Can only hope for that kind of drama here in the Constellation Final again. Down and back as fast as you possibly can as the timers get out of their chairs. Way too close to call. Maybe lane four with Brandon Wilson, perhaps. Wilson is first to the wall. 10-20 on the way back. It was not the fastest, but it was enough for Florida Southern. 1963, it was 1 one hundredth faster than Cabral, who was about a tenth faster than Marugo Montano. That was a very good race. Basically, everybody across the board there Faster tonight than they were this morning. Brandon Wilson from the Florida Southern Mox, the B final victor. Okay, to the championship final now, where the all time Division II record is held by Queens. Matei Dusa, two years ago in Greensboro, Dusa swam 1888. Last year's champion from Freeport in the Bahamas and swimming collegiately for Henderson State. Lamar Taylor, he and his teammate, fifth year senior, Jack Armstrong, the two top qualifying team times this morning. Taylor, 1903 earlier, Jack Armstrong was 1948. That's how much separation we're talking about. In lane one, a freshman from Lewis, Ahmed Ismail. In lane two, a sophomore from Tampa, Slovakian native Tibor Tistin, who did not swim this event at the Sunshine State meet, but was 16th in Division II this year until this morning he ripped off a great race. Ian Cooper, fifth-year senior from Tampa, St. John's Florida native, he PR'd this morning, he's in lane three. And it's Taylor and Armstrong in four. From Australia and from Florida Southern, all-American senior Kyle McAuliffe is in six. He won the Sunshine State meet this year. Lane seven is Blake Moran, a fifth-year senior from Tampa, and Marcel Snitko from Nova Southeastern, also a fifth-year senior. He's in lane eight. He was the runner-up to McAuliffe in the conference meet. This is a very old race, with the exception of Ismail, who maybe is showing us a little bit of what the future of D2 speed looks like. PRs in lanes one, two, three, and six this morning, but everybody's been behind Henderson State's Lamar Taylor. This kid's a star. Last year won the national championship in the 50 free, then he won the 100 back and the 100 free. Was the National Division II Men's Swimmer of the Year, and then in the summer broke the Bahamian national records in the 100 back and in the 50 free. Lamar Taylor in lane for the favorite. His teammate Jack Armstrong, the closest one to him. Oh my goodness, oh no! Taylor looks like he's injured. Taylor can't keep going. Is there something wrong with him? 
Taylor is not going to win this year, but who will? All the way back, looking in lane five. Is it Armstrong? No, it's McAuliffe. Florida Southern, a national champion. Jack Armstrong finishes second. 1928 to McAuliffe, but suddenly all of the joy in the building quiets as everybody looks with anticipation at Taylor. Taylor gets a round of applause. The good news is he looks like he's reasonably okay as he floats on his back. The reality is if he can at least complete the race, he will make his way on the podium as an All-American. We'll try to find a replay if we can. When Lamar Taylor is able to get his way back to the blocks. Oh my goodness. Has there been a bigger star coming into this meet? Lamar Taylor. A heartbreaking moment, but more importantly, concerned about his health. Here's the best look we've got for you as Taylor got off the blocks, went into the water, and just didn't surface. I wonder if he cramped up. I, I can't think of anything else that could have happened. He didn't hit his head. He didn't hit the lane line. Oh, my. Lamar Taylor, an All-American this year, but that is most certainly not the race that he was hoping for. Congratulations to Kyle McAuliffe. Let's not get rid of the moment for Kyle. Well, it's tough for Lamar. This is the biggest moment of Kyle McAuliffe's life. The senior from Florida Southern wins a national championship in his personal record time, 19.28 seconds. My goodness. All right, we have the awards presentation for the 200 IM coming up. Then they will announce the diving finalists, and from there, they will go to the 50-yard freestyle podium, and then we'll have the one-meter diving competition for the men tonight. So that's all to come. If we happen to get any word on Lamar Taylor, I'll certainly share that with you, but I'm not sure if anything will make its way back up our direction or not. I certainly don't want to speculate with the nature of his injury. Just glad to see that it doesn't appear to be all that serious. Okay, to the podium now, women's 200 IM. 100 yard individual medley, Colorado Mesa head coach, Mickey Winder. In eighth place with a time of 201.73 from Tampa, Madison Barnes. In seventh place with a time of 201.38 from Drury, Aurora Duncan. In sixth place with a time of two minutes point eight two from Drury, Claire Conover. In fifth place with a time of two minutes point five three from Nova Southeastern, May Lowe. In fourth place with a time of one fifty nine seventy nine from Drury, Malai Vic. In third place with a time of 159.70 from Nova Southeastern, Amelia Runningdahl. And your 2024 NCAA Division II runner up in the women's 200 yard individual medley with a time of 159.68 from Indy, Selena Schmidt. And your 2024 national champion in your women's 200 yard individual medley with a championship time of 158.63 from Colorado Mesa, Benedict Nagy.
Once again, we need our top eight finishers and our men's 200 yard individual medley to the awards ready area now. Once again, our top eight finishers and our men's 200 yard individual medley to the awards area now. In 16th place with a time of 149.27 from University of Missouri St. Louis, Conley Savage. In 15th place with a time of 147.91 from Wayne State, Clayton Kennard. In 14th place with a time of 147.52 from Rollins, William Slowey. In 13th place with a time of 147.46 from Westchester, Colas Nagy. In 12th place with a time of 147.44 from Northern Michigan, Wyatt Dickman. In 11th place with a time of 147.28 from Indy, Silas Boosing. In 10th place with a time of 146.25 from Oklahoma Christian, John Amrine. And in ninth place with a time of 145.41 from Drury, Adam, Ivan Adamchuk. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the podium your top eight finishers in the men's 200 yard individual medley. Presenting the award this evening, Colorado Mesa head coach, Mickey Wender. In eighth place with a time of 146.64 from Tampa, Parker Nolman. In seventh place with a time of 146.42 from Missouri s and Connor Bichel. In sixth place with a time of 145.61 from Drury, Davi Muaw. In fifth place with a time of 144.76 from Drury, Alejandro Vieiro. In fourth place with a time of 144.23 from Simon Fraser, Marcus Mack. In third place, for the time of 143.97, from Tampa, Santiago Corridor. Your 2024 runner-up in the men's 200-yard individual medley, with a time of 143.78, from Jewelry, Joao Nogueira. And your 2024 NCAA Division II National Champion in the men's 200-yard individual medley for the championship time of 141.92 from Colorado Mesa, Benjamin Simpson!
Jersey's the first one. All right, just to give you a, a quick update here, we are waiting for the announcement of our men's one meter diving finalists. And then we'll go back to the podium for the 50 yard freestyle. One meter diving finals tonight on the men's side. We'll have diving along the way as the weekend continues. And here they come. So we've got our public address system carrying the announcements here. See all the guys that are gonna try to win national championships. Among them, Julio Osuna Kelly. Suna Kelly was unbelievable in prelims, scoring 546. Charles Earl from Drury, probably his best competition. Pushing to Santiago Santo Domingo from Delta State. Here are our finalists for the one ends one evening diving. Qualifying in eighth place, the score 424.8 from Grand Valley State, Matthew Blommel. Qualifying in seventh place with a score 427.15, representing Clarion University, Michael Flam. Your sixth place qualifier from prelims, scoring 433.10 from St. Cloud State, James Nord. Qualifying in fifth with a score of 465.45 from Colorado Mesa, Isaiah Cheeks. Scoring 481.30, your fourth place qualifier from Clarion University, Zachary Shearing. The third place qualifier from this afternoon with a score of 499.00 from Delta State University, Santiago Santo Domingo. Your second place qualifier scoring 495.15 from Drury University, Charles Earl. And your top qualifier from this afternoon's competition, scoring 546.00 from the University of Indianapolis, Julio Osuna Kelly. So there are your eight championship finalists in the men's one meter diving competition. the podium presentation in just a moment for the 50-yard freestyle. I'll give you an update, though, real quick on the team scores. On the women's side, Nova Southeastern in first place, 121 points. Then it's Drury, 99.5. Colorado Mesa, 92.5. UND, 87. West Florida, 47. Those are your top five. On the men's side, Tampa has 136 points. Followed by Drury at 92, Nova Southeastern 72, Indy 55, Colorado Mesa 48, McKendry 47. So there is some bunching together there, especially in places five through, well, five through nine are all fairly close to one another. One meter diving and the 200 medley relay still on the docket, but first we go back to the podium to recognize the fastest Women's 50-yard freestylers in the country. Well, we had a new national record set tonight by Indy freshman and a native of Uganda, Kirabo Namutebi. 
presenting the awards this evening is Indy coach, Indy head coach, Nikki Alvarez. In eighth place, for the time of 23.09, from Tampa, Isabella Searing. We have a tie for sixth place with a time of 23.01 from Colorado Mesa, Ellie Williams. And from Drury, Ashlyn Moore. In fifth place for the time of 22.95 from Delta State, Daniela Sokow. In fourth place with a time of 22.59 from Lynn, Laura DeConnick. In third place with a time of 22.55 from Henderson State, Kiara Posby. Your 2024 national runner-up in women's 50-yard freestyle with a time of 22.49 from Augustana, Bryn Grinwald. And your 2024 NCAA Division II National Champion in the women's 50-yard freestyle with a new NCAA Division II record, 2208 from Indy, Caravo. Namu Tebi! We need our top eight finishers in our men's 50-yard freestyle to the awards ready area. Once again, our top eight finishers in our men's 50 yard freestyle to the awards ready area. All right, getting ready for the awards presentation here of the men's 50 yard freestyle and Unfortunately, while I don't have any uh, status to report for you on the health of Lamar Taylor, um, disappointingly, certainly for him, that uh, the race didn't go the way he wanted to, and technically he was disqualified. So you will not see him come out on the podium as an All-American this year. That is terribly disappointing for the young man who was trying to defend his title and was unquestionably the best 50-yard freestyler in the country up until this point. But shouldn't take anything away from Kyle McAuliffe from Florida Southern. He won the race in 1928 and is about to have an amazing moment for him. He's crowned a national champion. In sixth place from Tampa with a time of 1961, Tybor Tiston. In fifth place with a time of 1960 from Nova Southeastern, Marcel Snitko. In fourth place with a time of 1958 from Tampa, Blake Moran. In third place with a time of 1943 from Tampa, Ian Cooper. Your 2024 national runner-up 
with a time of 1933 from Henderson State, Jack Armstrong. And being presented by his head coach, Andy Robbins, your 2024 NCAA Division II National Champion in your men's 50-yard freestyle with a championship time of 1928 from Florida Southern, Kyle McCaleb. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we do need our relay card from Montevallo. All right. Congratulations, Kyle McAuliffe, in your national championship as a senior at Florida Southern, 1928. A PR time for Kyle to win the 50 freestyle. All right, we're getting ready for our eight divers. We're going to do six dives each on men's one meter. Matthew Blommel, Michael Flam, James Nord, Isaiah Cheeks, Zach Shearing, Santiago Santo Domingo, Charles Earl and Julio Osuna Kelly. And we will turn it over to our public address system for that as Matthew gets us started with dive 105B 2.6 in just a couple of minutes. Judges score. Fifty two point five. James first dive, one oh five B two six. Score. 49.4, Isaiah, 105B, 2.6. Judges score. 62.4. Zachary's first dive, 52.35D, 2.9. Fifty six point five five Santiago one oh five B two point six Award sixty one point one Shot 405C 3.1.
Judges score. Fifty-one, fifteen. Julio, fifty-three, thirty-five. D. Three point zero. Judge a score. Seventy point five. Round two, Matthew, 203B, 2.3. Judges score. 48.3, Mike, 105C, 2.4. James, 405C, 3.1. Thirty-two, fifty-five. I say a second dive. One oh seven C three point zero. Fifty two point five Zach two O five C three point oh Judge a score fifty five point five Santiago, 205C, 3.0. One oh seven C three point zero. Judge score. Fifty five point five Julio two oh five C three point oh Judges award. 64.5. Beginning our third round, Met 305C 3.0.
A Warden. 39.0. Mike, 107C, 3.0. Judges score. 43.5. James, 205C, 3.0. Award. Thirty one point five Isaiah two oh five C three point zero. Forty point five. Zach three oh five C three point zero. Award fifty two point five. Santiago, 305C, 3.0. Judges score. 43.5. Three oh five C three point oh. Award. 72.0. Julio, 5152B, 3.2. Sixty-seven point two. Starting round four, Matt four hundred three B two point four. Award forty six point eight Mike three oh five C three point oh Award. 
40.5. Jim, 303B, 24. Award. Thirty seven point two Isaiah three oh five C three point zero Award. Sixty one point five. Zach Sport died, fifty three thirty five D three point zero. Award. Fifty five point five Santiago, fifty two thirty five D two point nine Award. 4785 Charles 205C 3.0 Award. 49.5, Ulio, 405C, 3.1. Score. 69, 75. Beginning round five, Matt, 5134 D, 2.6. Forty five point five Mike two oh five C three point zero score. 54.0 Chip 53.33 D 2.6 Judges yeah, score 46.8 Isaiah 51.34 D 2.6 
award. 46.8, Zach, 105B, 26. Award. 53.3. Santiago, 51, 52B, 3.2. Sixty two point four Chuck fifty one fifty two B three point two Award. 32.0. Julio, 305C, 3.0. Award seventy point five. Will the women's two hundred meter relays please report to the ready area? Beginning our sixth and final round, Matthew fifty two thirty five D two point nine. Award 3915 Michael 405 C 3.1 Judges Award, 51-15, James, 52-35-D, 2.9. Award 4930 Isaiah 405 C 3.1 Judge a score. Fifty one, fifteen. Zach, four oh five C, three point one.
award. 65.10. Santiago's final dive, 405C, 3.1. Award sixty nine seven five Charles fifty three thirty five D three point zero Judges score, 66.0. Our final diver, Julio, 107C, 3.0. Judges score 60.0. This concludes the men's one meter diving competition. Congratulations, Julio Osuna Kelly. What a score! 602.5. That is an incredible performance in the division two diving national championship it is so hard to hit the 600 point mark on one meter all-time division two record belongs to dario defazio set way back in 1994. julio osuna kelly is your back-to-back -back national champion in men's one meter diving he was second place as a freshman to his teammate kate hammond and then he beat kate Last year, when Cade was a senior, and he was the only UND guy in the championship final here this time around. Really cool moment for Julio Osuna Kelly, and you love the sportsmanship in diving when those guys went over and immediately got fired up for Julio with that big performance. All right, the only events we have left in the pool tonight are the 200-yard medley relay. and We have three heats of time finals for both the men and women. We'll have the ladies coming up here first. These are time finals, so you could win out of heat one or two if you swim fast enough. Let's see how it goes. in heat one in lane two we've got grand valley state the lakers oklahoma christian in lane three lane state in four the lewis flyers in five and simon frazier swimming in lane six no seed time from grand valley state oklahoma christian or simon frazier but they have the ability to enter the relays here at the meet since they've got enough swimmers to do so so we'll see how they fare maybe you get an all-american performance you just never know
In lane two, Vittoria Proietti from Grand Valley State. Tammy Greenwood in three. Ellie Belmore in four. Joanna Pella in five. And Abigail Williams in lane six on the top of the pool. Lane one on the bottom, working through eight up top. Pretty good backstroke so far for Simon Frazier. It's a 200-yard medley relay down and back as fast as you can in your discipline. Nice job closing there in uh, Oklahoma Christian. Greenwood has OCU in first. Natalia Hermanawaska, Haley Urig, Hannah Gurecki, Magdalera uh, Vladarkiewicz, and Delray Vetter all in the pool here. Magdalena swimming really well. Look at that breaststroke in five. Really quick, powerful spurts, and she's got Lewis in first place. Melissa Wager in lane two. Cheyenne Dennison, Evie Dice, Aubrey Fisher, and Alyssa Whitmore. Butterfly looks solid for OCU in lane three. Lewis swimming well in lane five, too. And at the moment, it's the Lewis Flyers. It's best time this year, 142.83. Time for the freestylers, Lucy Headley, Andrea Paradis, Sabine Bradford, Riley Byers, and Tori McClensick. Grand Valley, Oklahoma Christian, Simon Frazier, all swimming just fine. Lewis in the lead though. The Lewis Flyers trying to put up the time to beat after our first section of finals, and they will. 142-34 for Lewis. Just a little bit faster than their best time of the year. Where are your results? Grand Valley State came surging at the end there into second place. By the way, as we started this race, Nova Southeastern leads Drury by 21 and a half points in the team race. Drury is seven points ahead of Colorado Mesa. Those are your top three with U Indy still somewhat close by, 87. All right, getting the blocks ready for heat two. Here they come in heat two. Of course, relays are always so important at the national meet because points are doubled. And yesterday on the men's side, we saw Tampa get it done in the 800 free relay. Nova Southeastern set a national record, 708.50 in the 800 freestyle relay. We see Nova Southeastern here trying to defend their back-to-back -back national titles in this event here shortly. All right. Lane one is UMSL, Finley in two, Delta State in three, UND in four, Kimberly McCaffrey in five, or Tampa, Westchester in six, Wingate in seven, and Carson Newman in lane eight. Alexandra Melnick, Kaylee Davis, Caroline Reinecke, Kim McCaffrey, Lila DiCarlo, Vera Carlson, and Kyla Blakemore all in the pool. Blakemore had a nice national meet last year for Carson Newman. And she's got the Eagles in a decent spot right now up in lane eight. This is a very tight race. In fact, only lane one is fading a little bit. Perhaps in lane two, just a small advantage for Melnick, who touches first, then it's Indy, then it's Tampa. Second swimmers in, Zara Constopel, Katie Susie, Alexis Moon, Selena Schmidt, Maddie Barnes, Mackenzie Hemingway, Amanda Wenhold, and Brianna Belcher. 
And the medley relay, obviously, you've got to have a really strong breaststroker. And right now, Wingate looks good up in lane seven with Wenhold. Good closing speed here from Katie Susie. Two, six, and seven are the first couple there. Indy also swimming well. Audrey Lance, Emily Mears Bentley, Kayla Cloth, Stephanie Marquardt, Isabel Saren, Isabella Kill, Hannah Kublova, and Chrisman Rand. Butterfly in lane two right now, setting the pace for Findlay. Boy, the Oilers look really good right now, don't they? Finley has turned it on. They are first into the pool with Troy Grubbs. Kate Nelson, Daniela Sulco, Karabo Namutebi going to try to swim them down. The 50-meter champ for UND. Morin, Trumbull, Andrews, and King also in the top of the pool. Can Namutebi swim back in it? She's going to run out of time. How about Finley? The team of Melnick, Susie, Mears Bentley, and Grubbs. 140-53, the new time to beat. 22-03, the split for our 50-yard national champion. And Namutebi brought Uindy back into second place. But the Finley Oilers with an excellent swim. Two is official. And now our back-to-back -back national champions are going to get ready to get in the pool. By the way, UND last year was the national runner-up. This year they won't finish quite as high on the podium. It doesn't seem it's technically possible, but everybody in Heat 3 would have to be slower than everybody else so far in heats one and two and you can usually bet that is not going to be the case nova southeastern three years ago did not win this national championship they came in fifth to the queen's royals and each of the last two years they have been the team to beat last year they beat drury by more than half a second i'm sorry two years ago they did Last year, they beat UND by about two-tenths. Nova Southeastern has four terrific swimmers here, but last year's team was anchored by Emily Treishman, and this year's team is not. Treishman is not swimming. Nor is the great Alexandra Maslova. This is a different-looking group than we saw a year ago. In fact, only Molly Morfelt is returning from last year's gold medal winning team. Anna Montgomery will swim the second leg for the Sharks. West Florida in one, Northern Michigan in two, Nova Southeastern in three, Colorado Mesa in lane four. They are the favorites with the only ones in the country that have gone sub 140 this year. Lynn in five, Augustana in six, Drury in seven, and the Mavericks from Minnesota State Mankato in lane eight. Colorado Mesa last year was third. The team of Lauren White, Lily Borgenheimer, Kara Borchert, and Ruby Botai. This year, Agata Naskrit, Maddie Moran, Kara Borchert, and Ellie Williams. We'll see if Colorado Mesa can get it done. From bottom to top of the pool, it's Nina Imboden, Camila Carbone, Molly Morfelt, Agata Nuskret, Laura DeConnick, Bryn Greenwald, Alexander Waller, excuse me, Alexandra Waller, and Abby Gronholz. Augustana looks really good in lane six. So does Gronholz, top of the pool. But the underwater work there, just incredible from Colorado Mesa. Good racing so far. Lane four leads the way. It's Mesa having a good swim. Actually, Mankato hit first, then Mesa. They're separated by three one hundredths. Puckett, DeKibit, Montgomery, Moran, Schneider, Jalitti, Conover, and Shell all in the pool. Lane eight got a really good swim there from Abby Gronholtz. Can senior Brooke Shell keep it up? Brooke is swimming fine. She's feeling some pressure from the Augustana Vikings. Here comes Northern Michigan with Zoe DeKevitt. Middle of the pool catching up too. 
halfway home, it is Augustana in first place. Emily O'Connell, uh, Fon Contenero, Rafaela Rorich, Kiara Borcher, Luna Mertens, Angelina Chan, Anastasia Yermanchina, and Claudia Schwartz in the butterfly. Chan, Mertens, great swim there from Luna Mertens. Wow, 23.57, she's got Lynn in first place. Now it's up to Colorado Mesa to get it done with Eli, excuse me, Ellie Williams. Lewis, Burroughs, Esparza, Lundell, Montgomery, De Alencar, and Mishmash all in the pool. Lane five, Lynn, can they hold it off? Alexa Lundell is first to the wall. Nova Southeastern, the two-time defending champions are the runners up this year. Colorado Mesa finishes third. How about Lynn? National champions in the 200 medley relay. Last year, Lynn, All-American finishes from Smilik, Porta, Mertens, and Fodor. And this year, they get it done, thanks in, in large part to Luna Mertens. That young lady can just butterfly with the best of them. That was excellent. And Lynn wins the 2024 National Championship in the women's 200 medley relay. Winning time, 140-14. Still waiting for all of the times to be put in. Figure out if there were any All-American finishes from the previous heat I believe there were because Finley at 140 53 actually Finley's gonna finish in fourth place is that right 40 53 yeah they missed third place by only two one hundredths well done by the Finley Oilers all right we have a quick intermission here because they're going to present the men's one meter diving uh, all-american honors here so we'll go back to the podium for just a minute and then when we come back we'll go one more time into the pool for our men's 200 medley relay to wrap up the night let's bring out our award winners for the men's one meter diving Presenting the awards is diving coach from the University of Indianapolis, Tori Cole. Finishing eight with a score 403.35 from St. Cloud State, James Nord. Finishing seventh with a score of 440.80, representing Grand Valley State, Matthew Blomel. In sixth place, scoring 443.40 from Clarion University, Michael Lamb. Placing fifth with a score of 496.40 from Colorado Mesa, Isaiah Cheeks. Your fourth place finisher this evening with a score of 511.25 from Drury University, Charles Earl. Your third place finisher scoring 517.05 from Delta State University, Santiago Santo Domingo. Your national runner-up with a 
scoring 521.00, representing Clarion University, Zachary Shearing. And your 2024 national champion, defending his title, scoring 602.50 from the University of Indianapolis, Julio Osuna Kelly. Back-to-back -back national championships for UND's Julio Osuna Kelly. And this year he does it by eclipsing the 600-point threshold. Quite well done for Julio. He didn't even need a final round dive to win that competition. Zach Shearing from Clarion finished in second. Delta State freshman Santiago Santo Domingo, the runner-up. All right, three swims left. They are all-time finals of the men's 200-yard medley relay. National championship this weekend up for grabs, and at the moment on the men's side, the Tampa Spartans have a lead, 136 points as a team. Drury sitting at 107, Uindy at 82, Nova Southeastern at 72, Colorado Mesa 62. For what it's worth, Tampa coming into the weekend is ranked sixth nationally. Previously, they were third in the country. They've certainly got a really good team. This has been a great start for them. Can they keep it up? Find out. All right. Heat one includes Wayne State, Oklahoma Christian, Nova Southeastern, Simon Frazier and Wingate. None of these teams have posted a seed time worthy of qualification, but they are all competing in this uh, championship final because we've got enough guys in the meet. Into the pool, the backstrokers go. Believe it or not, there were no A cuts across the country this year for Division II Nationals. Top time in the country belongs to UND. It was only marginally better than McKendrick. See them both coming up. Lorenzo Tassinari, Eli Rowland, Gustav Henriksen, Dylan Cormendi, Chagas Filo, all in the pool. He's swimming well. So is Roland. And it's OCU in first at the one quarter mark. Hans Anderson, JT Emrein, Nigo Marina, Hayden Vischer, and Andres Martiena. So far, so good for Wayne State in lane two, trying to catch Martiena up in six. Wingate Bulldogs looking good from the Carolinas. Trevor Jones, Victor Rosado, he's a superstar. So is Thomas Flower, Thomas Caruso, and Alexander Smyer. A lot of ground to make up in lane five at the moment for Caruso. Smyer swimming great. Look at the power from Rosado in lane three. Not a surprise there, he is really good. Rosado just had that last split there. In lane three of 2103, way faster than the rest of the field. Kennard, Knott, Snitko, Mack, and Marcos all trying to bring it home. Looking good for Oklahoma Christian. And they get it done. 127 55. 1936.
Final split, Nova Southeastern from Snitko, unsurprisingly 19 flat. Fifth year is a terrific sprint freestyler. So the time to beat belongs to OCU, 127-55. Oklahoma Christian, by the way, last year's second team All-Americans. They finished in 11th place overall. Wingate did have an All-American uh, finish last year, seventh on the podium. This year, 127.98. We'll see if that's enough. All right, Heat 2 coming up in just a moment after they reset the blocks. Best seed time in this heat belonged to St. Cloud State. They had a really good GLIAC championship meet. beat Northern Michigan and Grand Valley in the GLIAC meet. Saginaw Valley State also qualifying for Nationals. This kind of feels like a uh, GLIAC heat. Missouri s and Grand Valley, Northern Michigan, St. Cloud, Lewis, Montevallo, and Saginaw Valley all in this heat. There's some Newman in lane eight. Everybody knows 127.55 is the current lead. That's a pretty competitive time looking here in this heat. Lane five had a little problem there. So the other guys are going to relax for a moment. Nico Jacinto wants to make sure that's to his liking. All right. Here we go. Walters, Dyes, Auger, Hendricks, Jacinto, Malone, Robles Ruiz, and Ribeiro. Lane five, and Nico Jacinto, who had a little bit of trouble on that block, right now swimming great. Look at the underwater work, my goodness. Just barely came up in time before hitting the red buoy. Excellent work so far. Lewis in the lead. Clancy, Go, Dickman, Porter, Ismail, Barchik, Slabbert, and Hartvig. Lewis Flyers moving along at a pretty good clip. Getting some pressure from the bottom of the pool. Missouri S&T. Good swims going. Also top of the pool, Carson Newman. Those are the top three. Nate Baxter, Brennan Neitzel, Ryan Lund, Cade Rosenwald, Davidson Vincent, Alexi Kolniskov, Logan Fox, and Daniel De Oliveira. Everybody still chasing Vincent and Lewis. They're in first place. Missouri s and is in second. Wiedemeyer, Scott Odevetta, Knowles, Beck, Semenov, Sellis, Zledek, and Glusman. Lewis swimming as fast as they possibly can. Great powerful stroke from Misha Semenov. Lewis, 125-92. How good is that? The Lewis Flyers win the heat. Missouri S&T finishes in second. 
I don't think there was a weak leg anywhere there for Lewis. Phenomenal. The team of Nico Jacinto, Ahmed Ismail, who, by the way, was in the 50 freestyle championship final earlier and swam breaststroke in this uh, this time final. Davidson Vincent and Misha Semenov. That team puts up a good mark, 125-92. I would imagine that's good enough to get them on the podium. We'll find out. St. Cloud State, by the way, finished fifth in that heat. Last year, they were sixth overall. They are unlikely to be back on the podium this year. And so it sets up the final race of the night where the two-time defending champions from Drury will try to bring home a title. But they've got some fast customers around them. U Indy, the top qualifier this year at 124.90. They were the runner-up to Drury last year. McKendry, third place a year ago. They've gone as fast as 125.30 this year. Florida Southern, they're going to be in lane one, fourth place last year. They've gone as fast as 126.55 this year, and they are anchored by the 50 freestyle champion, Kyle McAuliffe. McAuliffe just quickly looking through the, the anchor leg. He and Ian Cooper, probably the two fastest guys in the pool. But will they have the lead they want? Jackson Lustig from McKendry is so good on the butterfly. So is Biarejo, as well as Marudo Montano. This is going to be fun. Jared Thompson from UND and Tim Stolens will swim the leadoff legs. Those guys are dynamite. Parker Nolman, same story. And most importantly here, want to keep our eyes on lane eight, where Henderson State senior Lamar Taylor is going to swim the backstroke. Lamar Taylor, one of the most accomplished swimmers in the country last year, a three-time national champion. Unfortunately, if you missed it earlier in the 50 freestyle, he was the favorite after prelims this morning, went into the pool, and never started swimming. He came up. He looked injured in the water, thankfully was able to get out of the water and appeared to be okay. Looking at Lamar there, I, I don't want to speculate at the nature of his injury. He was able to walk away under his own power. So yeah, that, was, that was a tough moment. I don't know if he hit the bottom of the pool or if he got hurt, but whatever the case was, that was, that was a tough moment for Henderson State. And hopefully Lamar Taylor is ready to go for this backstroke. Florida Southern, Colorado Mesa, Findlay, Indianapolis, McKendry, Drury, Tampa, and Henderson State. Time to beat 125-92. All-time national record and meet record belongs to Drury in 2021, 124-69. Brandon Wilson, Andrew Scoggin, Tim Stallings, Jaron Thompson. Patrick Rosenick, Victor Knicken, Parker Nolan, and Lamar Tyler. Everybody watching Taylor start up in eight. That's a good one. Excellent, though, work in the middle of the pool. Jaron Thompson is an absolute superstar. His underwater work is phenomenal. Taylor in lane eight starting to pull back a little further forward. Stolings for Finley looking good, too. Gosh, this is a great heat all the way across. Very tight backstroke. The leader technically is Lamar Taylor. Good for him. He swam 21-28. Now it's Muller, Ayers, Chianducci, Cole, Pinheiro, Mural, Pulasic, and Armstrong. Some excellent swimmers in the pool here too. Armstrong trying to keep it going for Henderson State. They're falling behind the middle of the pool where Uindy and McKendry have both pulled ahead. One, two in the middle. Then Drury. Fourth place belongs to Mesa. It's Villalone, Urbanic, Marugo Montano, Sawicki, Lustig, Villarejo, Aguilar, and Pickney all in for the butterfly. Really good strokes in the middle. Goodness gracious, look at lane four. The University of Indianapolis is on fire, and they hand it over to Akil Joseph to try to take him home. 
McAuliffe in one on the bottom of the pool, your 50 meter champion, can he swim him down? Ian Cooper in lane seven for Tampa is terrific, but he's too far behind. This is shaping up to be four and five, Indianapolis and McKendry, and it's the Greyhounds, you Indy. Two years ago, they took bronze. Last year, they took silver. And this year, the team of Thompson, Cole, Sawicki, and Joseph are your national champions. 124-46, it is officially a Division II all-time record. What a day for you, Indy. Cedric Boosing defends his 1,000 freestyle. The men's one meter diving champion for the second straight year, Julio Osuna Kelly. And in the 200 medley relay in Division II all time record fashion, the U Indy Greyhounds win the national championship, a third gold medal today. And their title defense is very much alive in that team championship. Congratulations to you, Indy, on a fabulous swim. All right, we will take a, a quick break here. We've got a few minutes before the start of our podium presentation for both the men and women in the 200 medley relay so we'll step aside briefly when we come back we'll have the uh, podium presentations for you and then we'll wrap up the night as we conclude our uh, first day of coverage here at the Spire Institute the 2024 Division II National Championship back after this on NCAA.com Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the podium your top eight finishers in our women's 200-yard medley relay. with a time of 141.38, Minnesota State Mankato.
And we have a tie for sixth place with a time of 141.35. Drury and Northern Michigan. In fifth place with a time of 141.10, Augustana. In fourth place with a time of 140.53, Finley. In third place with a time of 140.51, Colorado Mesa. <laughs> and your 2024 national runner-up in our women's 200-yard medley relay with a time of 140.37, Nova Southeastern. And your 2024 national champions in our NCAA Division II Women's 200-Yard Medley Relay. Presenting their trophy, their head coach, Nikki Alvarez, with a championship time of 140-14, win! We need our top eight finishers in our men's 200-yard medley relay to the awards area now. Tampa, Lewis, Florida Southern, Drury, Henderson State, Finley, McKendry, and Indy. Event 11, men's 200-yard medley relay. He won lane two, Wayne State, disqualified for relay exchange. Second relay exchange. Here are your results for event 11, men's 200-yard medley relay. Your top 16. In 16th place, Montevallo. In 15th place, Northern Michigan. In 14th place, St. Cloud State. In 13th place, Oklahoma Christian. In 12th place, Grand Valley. In 11th place, Carson Newman. In 10th place, Colorado Mesa. And in ninth place, Missouri s &T. Once again, we need our top eight finishers in our men's 200-yard medley relay. Eighth place, Tampa. Lewis, Florida Southern. Drury, Henderson State. Finley, McKendry, and Indy. Please report to the awards area now.
We need Lewis to the awards area at this time, please. Lewis to the awards ready area. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the podium our top eight finishers in the men's 200-yard medley relay. In eighth place, with a time of 126.11, Tampa. In seventh place, with a time of 125.92, Lewis. In sixth place, with a time of 125.73, Florida Southern. In fifth place with a time of 125.69, Drury. In fourth place with a time of 125.60, Henderson State. In third place with a time of 125.58, Finley. Your 2024 national runner-up, in the men's 200-yard medley relay with a time of 124.96, McKendry. <laughs> and presenting the award for the 2024 national champions, men's 200-yard medley relay, Indy head coach Brett Noble presenting a 124.46 a new NCAA Division II national record, your 2024 national champions, Indy! gentlemen that concludes tonight's final session we'll see you back here tomorrow morning for the how about those UND Greyhounds break the all-time record 124 26 beg your pardon 124 46 all-time division two record in the 200 yard medley relay third Greyhound National Championship today. We've had Division II men's swimming national meets since 1964, and this is the first time the Greyhounds have ever won the 200 medley relay. Outstanding, and they did it in really impressive fashion. Early and late, again, the team of Jaron Thompson, Braden Cole, Oscar Sawicki, and Akil Joseph. A fifth-year senior in Thompson, a couple of uh, regular classified seniors in Cole and Joseph Sawicki, just a sophomore. That is the best 200 medley team in Division II history. Pretty cool. What a great day. After the uh, end of competition on uh, the, I guess this is technically the third session because we did have a couple of relays last night. 
Tampa leads the way with 158 points. Then Drury, 135. Indy, 122. So it's fairly tight at the top. McKendry's not out of it either. They've got 81 with still lots of points available. On the ladies' side, through 10 events, Nova Southeastern in first place, trying to repeat his champs. 155 points for the Sharks. Drury and Colorado Mesa tied for second with 124 and a half. Indy in th uh, fourth place with 105, and then there is a substantial drop-off from there. Lynn in fifth place with 55 points. For all the latest news and information regarding this championship, we encourage you to stay tuned right here on NCAA.com, including updated uh, news and notes all over the website. Any uh, potential time changes, we certainly anticipate that we'll start on time tomorrow morning with prelims at 10 and 5.30 for the final sessions each afternoon. But if for some reason anything were to change, we've got you covered here on the site. I'm Brendan Gulick. Thanks for hanging out with us here tonight at the uh, Spire Institute, well in, uh, into northeast Ohio outside of Cleveland. And uh, look forward to a big day tomorrow. Our fourth and fifth sessions will include the 100 fly, 400 IM, 200 freestyle, the women's three-meter diving finals, and the 400 medley relay. Until tomorrow night, have a great rest of the night. Congratulations to all of our national champions crowned today. We hope to see you again here as our 2024 national championship coverage continues this week in Geneva.